What up, bro? Welcome back to Ill Reviews, man. Unless you've been living underneath the rock, man, you know Cat Williams has set the whole internet on fire. You feel me? He now has the most stream interview of all time here on YouTube. You feel me? So it's crazy. I think he said, like, like I saw, was there like 23 million views? You know what I'm saying? And that's in less than 48 hours, type. Like, it's crazy. And I definitely got some opinions about it, but I want to see what Eric Spears has to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Eric Spears just dropped a response. Let's see what he got to say first. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Aries is here. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people have been asking me on the Instagram about my thoughts on the Cat Williams situation, and he did mention me, <clears throat> which was a head-scratcher, because I don't know what I did to him. Um, and, you know, I was going to save this for my podcast, but I might as well kind of get into it now. And basically, I'm going to repeat the same thing on my podcast. And, you know, again, people ask me what I thought about it. And I'm going to say this. You know, I think it's sad. Uh, it saddens me to know that my people, the people I love, black people, as well as everybody else, but my people come first, black people. We love drama. We love drama. We stew in it. We love it so much that we allow it to be detrimental to the progress of us and a culture. We just, we, we absolutely love it. Um, because I'm asking myself, why did he do something that was both unnecessary and absolutely pointless um and in reading the comments you know it, it, it's it's i can tell we love drama by the shit we say you know um protect cat at all costs we gotta protect cat he the goat he the goat uh and i want to address both those things all right number one the goat thing uh is a useless title um Every comedian, every entertainer, every performer is the GOAT to their fan base. Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer are the GOATs to their fan base. Wanda Sykes, everybody he calls out, Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, Chris Tucker, they're all GOATs to their fan base. I get called a GOAT and a legend all the time. If you think I'm tooting my own horn, look at my comedy clips. Go through the comments. Aries, you a GOAT. You a legend. While that's flattering, it's a useless title. There can only be one goat, and his name was Richard fucking Pryor. Um, yeah, I, you know, I remember one of my favorite things to watch was the 30 for 30 with Shaq on ESPN when he was playing for the Orlando Magic. And in his younger days, he goes, you know, when people would ask me whose team is it, when you're in your 20s, you care about shit like that. I had to let people know it was my team. But as I got older, I realized that's a useless title. Because the ultimate goal was to win a championship. So as far as y'all saying who the GOAT is, Cat is your GOAT. I understand that. But you really, that's a useless title. Then you say things like, yo, we got to protect Cat at all costs. Protect him at all costs. Did he cure cancer? Did he cure AIDS? Did he end racism? Did he figure out black poverty? Turn the fucking volume down. Protect Cat at all costs. Knock it off. Keep it in perspective. This is a news cycle. That's all this is. It's a news cycle. This ain't curing cancer. This ain't nothing to protect nobody about. Oh, he, he shook up Hollywood. He exposed Hollywood. Ooh, he told the truth. What, what the, again, to me, this is pointless. What did he do? What did he change? He didn't change anything. Steve Harvey is still going to be Steve Harvey. The success, the fame, the money, the momentum, the adulation, the respect, the adoration from the fans is still going to all be there. Same thing with Cedric. Same thing with Chris Tucker. Same thing with Ludacris. Same thing with Ronda Sykes. Same thing with me. Same thing with Ricky Smiley. Everybody that he named will still go on. Nothing has changed. All right? This wasn't life or world changing. It's a news cycle. And it's funny because this is why I say social media is both a blessing and a curse and dangerous. This phone, this device gives everybody a platform. Everybody gets to be heard, which is power. And everybody don't deserve power. I'm reading some of the comments about Kevin and I'm reading stupid shit like, oh man, Kevin's fan base is turning on him now. Cat done made it so his fan base is turning on him now. Cat ain't, uh, Kevin ain't never been funny. He ain't funnier than Cat. Well, first of all, all of that is subjective. Secondly, 
The people are saying that Kevin ain't funny or he ain't funny than Cat. We're never Kevin Hart fans to begin with. Don't get it twisted. Kevin Hart is a global phenomenon. He's globally famous. He can go anywhere in the world and sell out a whole arena or stadium by himself. The box office movie receipts don't lie. The tickets, the receipts at the ticket gate that you go through when you go to the arena sold out don't lie. So for all these people that think that Cat has turned the world on its axis about Kevin, knock it off. Turn the volume down. Kevin is just fine. And again, those people saying that negative shit about Kevin were never fans to begin with. But you let people tell it, average Joes who now have power because of the phone and the platform, oh, we must uh, cat expose the Illuminati. We must stop giving our money to these devil worshippers. We must take our power back. What power? You're not that serious. You're not that important. Stay in your lane. Wow. First of all, why does thing say Katie Williams? <laughs> For real. Was that a shot? The area's trying to say a quick shot at Cat. But, uh, I mean, a lot of valid points are made. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same way. I feel like a lot of this stuff happens because negativity spreads faster. And uh, people love just something just super negative. And I was, I was watching the whole Cat Williams things on, on YouTube. Um, I was wondering, like, why is he doing this? Like, what will he gain from this? You feel me? From um, what I've heard and what I've learned from being underground during, during media for almost two decades is no permanent friends or enemies in entertainment. The people that I beef with, sometimes I end up working with later. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. I think, I thought it was kind of weird that he was doing it because I'm like, in 10 years, y'all might have could have worked together. But here we are, you know what I'm saying? And he did a lot, Cat Williams did a lot on one thing and that's special. And then he said, Cedric don't got no specials on Netflix. And you know I'm a comedy connoisseur, I watch everything. Yes, he does. I think it's called like Welcome to the Ville or something like that. And I thought it was pretty funny. Me and my girl watched it a while ago. But uh, I don't know. You feel me? I don't, I don't know. Like, what does Cat gain from this? I don't know if this was a good move. I don't know if this was a crash out move or a strategic move. But I'm like, if you think about it, like, what was the benefit to Cat Williams for doing this? And you think about it, it's like, it's no real benefit. The only real benefit I could see is if he had his uh, tour tickets in the description of Shannon Sharp um, YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? That would be a win. But really, the winner in this is really uh, Shannon Sharp. You know what I'm saying? He ran up numbers on his channel, got a lot more exposure, and um, he's going to have a lot more people trying to come on his show. So the real winner in this was really Shannon Sharp. I don't know what this does for Cat Williams' career. And... My old hustle in the hood was I was the DVD man. I was the DVD man back home and here for like a total of eight years. And I remember selling Cat Williams DVDs, you know what I'm saying? And I remember when they stopped selling so much also. So Cat Williams and Sandy has 19 specials, but a lot of those last few specials wasn't selling that good to me. You know what I'm saying? And they wasn't as good. Of course, we know about Pimp Chronicles, um, those early ones, you know what I'm saying? Those are classic, but when he started getting into like World War Three and the other ones, that's when things start to, you know what I'm saying, like slide down. Not say they was garbage, they just didn't capture people like the first ones did. So I remember it being like, damn, these ain't moving, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm really about that DVD life. Like I really had to the point I had, like I was supplying three other DVD men in the hood, you know what I'm saying? I, like I was really on that DVD grind hard, like four burners. You know what I'm saying? They're going out. I'm gonna have to replace them. I'm burning that many DVDs a day, but I don't know. He said he got 19 specials. I tried to find all 19. I probably found like maybe 10. So, I mean, I gotta find like, where's these other specials at uh, 19? That's a big number. I'm like, oh, I don't remember that many, but I don't know. I don't know. And a lot of this stuff, we never know the answer to. We never know the truth. You feel me? He made a lot of claims. I don't know if this was the, the right move. I don't think this was a good move for Cat, really. If I gotta lean one way or another, I would say, nah, I don't think this was a good move. You feel me? Because now when you work with somebody and you're on set, they're gonna be wondering, like, dang, if I do this on set around Cat Williams, is he gonna go say this on an interview later on? Nah, that ain't nobody wanna work with a person like that. So I don't know. A lot of people think this is a win for uh, Cat. And this is a win for the public, but he's not in our, our lanes. He don't have to maneuver in our lanes. It might be a loss for him 
in, in entertainment. Y'all might say he don't need them. He don't need them. Of course, he don't need them right now. But it might come a time when he do. And when he to go try to do something, these people are well connected. A lot of bridges have been burned. And I hope it don't hurt him in the long run because whatever hurt Cat Williams probably going to trickle down to his kids. But we should set, see. But let me know in the comments, man. Y'all think this was a good move for Cat? I personally don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he really had to do that, but I want to know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Salute to, to the legendary Aries Spears for this too. But yeah, let me know in the comments.